Today's question is all about glitter iron-on and how do you use it properly? This is the Creative Crafters podcast. Hi, I'm Bet from Bet's Makes and this is your questions answered. Now, the biggest thing is we love a lot of bling and we love a lot of glitter and there are available to us glitter iron-on sheets that you can get and rolls of glitter iron-on as well. They are all provided by Cricut. So the Cricut glitter iron-on of course will let you customize anything that you're working on so you can iron on a t-shirt, um, a tote bag, you could even put it on canvas shoes. There are tons of places that you can use your iron-on material, especially glitter iron-on. And of course, you want to make sure there's a bit of polyester in the surface that you're going to be using. Now, in order to use the glitter iron-on, the instructions are pretty well the same as what they would be with regular iron-on. You have to make sure that the shiny side of your material is placed down on the mat and of course anything you're cutting especially words you've got to make sure that you've turned the mirror on for the images so that when they are adhered to your t-shirt they're facing in the right direction so this is a chance to use the mirror now with the shiny side down usually you use the standard grip mat but you could use the light grip if you wanted to just make sure that it sticks nicely to that mat, so roll it on firmly. Really important. And of course, once the mirror is on, you just load your mat into the machine and press go and away it goes. But you have to make sure that you select glitter iron on in design space in order for it to cut properly. Remember, this is going to create what they call a kiss cut. It will not cut through the shiny piece of paper or the shiny piece that comes with the glitter iron on, but it will cut into the glitter iron on itself, but not cut all the way through. So it kisses the edge of the liner. And that's an important thing to know because you don't want it to cut through that liner. You simply want to be able to weed it and then apply it to your shirt from that point. Now, one of the biggest things here is once it's cut out and you've weeded your design, then that backing sheet, of course, is going to be a bit sticky. You don't need to use transfer tape at this point. What you can do is line it up onto the surface that you're going to use. Most often, I use glitter when it comes to t-shirts, so I line it up on the t-shirt properly. Now. The easiest thing to do here, of course, is to make sure that the t-shirt is preheated before you go ahead and you apply your design. Now, that's an important part as well. All you have to do is five to ten seconds, just kind of iron it out and then make sure there's no debris on your t-shirt. You can use one of those lint rollers in order to do that as well. So the next step, obviously, is to just put it on your shirt with the shiny side up this time protect your iron and then follow the directions for the Cricut heat guide about the amount of heat that you want so glitter iron on is not much different than using regular iron on except you're going to have that special setting right there with the materials so when you go to select your materials make sure you select the glitter iron on before it does its kiss cut. And I hope that answered your question. This has been the Creative Crafters podcast and your questions answered.